Hi everyone, my name is Kaylee. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet one of these very easy doily coasters. For this project, I used size 3 light worsted weight or DK cotton yarn with a 3.5mm hook. This project uses 6 grams of yarn, so you can make this with scrap yarn. You will also need a pair of scissors and a yarn needle. Once you have everything, let's get started. We will start off with a slip knot. Then chain four. Now you will join with a slip stitch into the first chain to form a ring, then chain 2. This will not count as a stitch. Now you will hold this yarn tail down against your work and you will put 20 double crochets into the center of this ring over this yarn tail. And that is my first double crochet. And I will continue until I have 20 double crochets. I've made 20 double crochets. Let me double check. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So now I will join with a slip stitch into the top of the first double crochet. Now we are done with round one. To begin round two, chain two. This will count as one half double crochet. Now into the next stitch, we will do one half double crochet. Then chain one. And again, into the next stitch, we will do one half double crochet. Chain one. And repeat. One half double crochet into the next stitch.
branching one. We will repeat this all the way around. I am near the end of round two. I have one more stitch, so I will put in my last half double crochet. Chain one, then you will join with a slip stitch into the top of the bigger than chain two. This finishes off round two, and you should have 20 half double crochets all the way around with a chain one space in between each stitch. Now we will begin round three. In this round, we will be working into the chain one spaces. So first, we will do a slip stitch into the first space. This moves your hook into the space that you will be working into. Now, chain two. This will count as one double crochet. Next, we will put one double crochet back into the same space. Then chain one. Then you will go back into the same space to put in two more double crochets. Now you will have four double crochets separated into two on each side by a chain one space. Next, you will skip the next chain one space, then into the following chain one space, you will put in two double crochets. two more double crochets back into the same space. Then again, skip the next chain one space, then into the following chain one space, repeat. So two double crochets, chain one, then two more double crochets into the same space. And you will repeat this all the way around. When you reach the end of the round, you should have one chain one space remaining and ten groups of four double crochets with a chain one space in the middle of each group. To finish off this round, you will join with a slip stitch into the top of the beginning chain two. We are almost finished. Let's begin round four. Again, we will be working all of the stitches in the chain one spaces. So to begin, you will put one double crochet into the first chain one space. Then chain one. You will do this four times into the same space. So again, double crochet, chain one. And again, double crochet, and chain one. Double crochet, and chain one. Now you have four double crochets separated by a chain one space in between. You will put in one more double crochet. Now you have five double crochets. After making your fifth double crochet, don't make a chain. Instead, you will do a slip stitch into this triangle space in between the two groups of four double crochets. And you've just made the first shell of five double crochets with four chain one spaces. Let's make another shell together. 
So into the next chain one space, we will do one double crochet and chain one four times. Now I have four double crochets with a chain one space in between. Now I will make my fifth double crochet. After making the fifth double crochet, don't make a chain, but do a slip stitch into the triangle space in between the two groups of four double crochets. Now you've completed the second shell. We will repeat this pattern all the way around and we will finish all together. After completing your 10th shell, you will finish off with a slip stitch into the triangle space right next to the first shell. Then chain 1. Now I will cut my yarn. in the end of my yarn using my yarn needle. Now you are finished with your doily poster. My doily poster is 11 centimeters across. So thank you for pushing along with me. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider supporting me by hitting the like button and subscribe to my channel. This will help to keep me motivated to continue sharing more crochet projects with you every week. If you made this doily, I would also love to hear from you. Simply leave a comment down below. I'm hoping to see you again in my next video.